Hi, uh, today is, what is the date, 17? Yeah, like so. Yeah, 17 February 2016. I have been in North Carolina, Greensboro, for a lecture and panel. And today I'm going to leave, and this is the hotel, beautiful hotel, kind of very old, but it is very clean, uh, Biltmore Hotel. I highly recommend, very interesting, very nice people. And um, while having breakfast here, I met this gentleman. I said, well, you're an interesting guy. <laughs> uh, because uh, uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, what's your name? Morgan Lilly. Morgan. And uh, you said uh, you came here from West Virginia, right? Yes, sir. By the way, he didn't know about my country. He said his geography is good, like most Americans. And he didn't find out my country after three clues. Like most Americans, I said, my country is a peninsula, correct? I yes, gave sir. you that clue. I said, it is 77 million population. My God, update information. And also, I said, it is neighbor with Greece and Iran, which you pronounce as Iran. And then he thought it would be Italy. Yes, Italy is a peninsula and about 70 million population, very close, but not neighbor with Greece nor Iran. Greece, it may be have neighborhood with the, uh, through the Mediterranean Sea. Anyway, um, but... Sad thing is my eight-year-old twins could probably tell you that. <laughs> I could probably answer your question. Um, well, I understand. <laughs> I, under <laughs> I understand. The world is a big place and you mind your own business. I very respect him because he has been working in coal mine for how many years? Twelve. Twelve years in coal mine there and uh, his father, your father worked for him? Yeah, he's been in for 43, still working. And your name was Morgan? Yes, sir. Morgan Lilly. Morgan. And you had your friend, too. He was. He came together with you. And why you came here? To work. To work. And it shows that uh, uh, you have joblessness there among coal miners. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And yeah, the actual company I worked for laid off 900 people the other day. Wow. About two weeks ago. Wow. Wow. And... In, in the year, I think there's been a two, three or five thousand people has been laid off this year in West Virginia in the coal mines. And of course, since I am highly politicized person, political, I'm very involved in politics of this country and world. I asked him about his uh, inclination regarding uh, presidential candidates, and I guess I said. Um, his first uh, reaction also was, um, was justifiable that uh, um, this government is not, uh, well, what do you say about terrorism is not active enough and Obama, uh, yeah. and then from there, of course, I thought that he would be voting for uh, Trump, correct? Yes, sir. And then, but he is now n not sure between uh, Trump and Cruz. I would like to ask him, and it seems kind of um, very reasonable interest. Uh, foreign issue, I, of course, I consider him, uh, like many Americans, not well informed about what is going on. He, I told him, I said, well, these psychopaths, these uh, ISIS, who are chop, uh, they, what they do the neck? They chop off the neck? What they, they cut off the neck? Yeah, they chop their yeah. people's heads off from what I've seen. Exactly. And I said, uh, this does just didn't come out from that ecology alone. We contributed greatly. In fact, the main co contributors, it is the United States. Uh, for no reason, we bombed that country. We caused the death of hundreds of thousands, according to some counts, one million Iraqis, and displaced uh, millions. Of course, what do you expect from such an environment? People love us or hate us. Uh, you will end up with uh, more uh, uh, psychopaths. And uh, the, therefore, uh, it is another issue, and I don't hold him. For, uh, he's uh, most likely a nice person. But, uh, now, one, th one thing, I, I don't mean yeah. to interrupt you, well, yeah. but one thing I do agree with is we do need to pay more attention to ourselves than we do other countries. It seems like we stick our nose too much beautiful I, other things than we do ourselves. I'm impressed. I think that's a beautiful, I think, common sense uh, approach to the issues. I think we are too much policing the world. 
and dictating the will of corporations. That's what you might be missing. What is the reason? Have you heard Eisenhower? Hover? How do you pronounce Eisenhower. We love it, the way you pronounce it. Eisenhower. And this guy, uh, his last day in office, he had a press release. He said what? He said, beware of military industrial complex. The military machine that makes profits, money out of bloody killing oh, machine yeah. because they will create wars, perpetual wars. And uh, he's concerned about his job, the coal mine job. I think it is very reasonable. And Trump is promising that he will support, correct? Yes, he's a big supporter of the coal. And what I was saying about the people who got laid off, where well, that's all that's in West Virginia, really, especially in the southern part where I live, in the mountains. It's, it's been on the news that for one, every one job that's lost in the mines, five other people lose their jobs because they're shutting Walmarts down <clears throat> and they're shutting gas stations down because everybody's moving away because there's no money. Because people's been mining coal for hundreds of years in West Virginia. That's why they moved there. I mean, that's why my grandpa, the one I said lived in Italy, he worked in the mines here. Now, his whole family lived in Chicago and they were in the other organizations that he didn't want to join, so he come here to work. We have still how many minutes? Um, about ten minutes. That's good, good enough. And I, and um, uh, what is the condition of coal mine? Uh, you told me that you go down how many feet? Yes, yeah, some mines. Th there's three different kinds of mines. There's a mm -hmm. drift mines where we just we'll start mining from outside, just go right to the side of the mountain because mm -hmm. you know it'll face off, they'll blow the side of the mountain off. Yeah. And you'll get to the coal right there, and you'll just take the miner. I run the miner, the piece of equipment that actually digs the coal out. Mm -hmm. You run it by remote control, which mm -hmm. is what I run. Mm -hmm. And we'd start out there and just start driving in. And like I said, there's times that we've drove to where we had to ride an hour and a half back in there. I rode elevators straight down 1,200 feet to get just to the bottom where we started mining. And then from there, you'd still sometimes have an hour ride on a ride to get to where the actual yeah. section where you work. What uh, really surprises me, it is just, I am bewildered. I absolutely respect and I have whole empathy about your plight that you are going, you are losing your job and here is a guy giving you promise, Donald Trump, that he will restore the coal mine business. I understand this part. Absolutely. If I were you, I would act the same way. It is my living, correct? Mm. My livelihood. And I don't know whether you are married or not. Yes, sir. You. And But I would listen to the other guy. The other guy, the opposite guy, is Sanders. Bernie Sanders says, in this country, one-tenth of one percent got billions of dollars. They own more than half of the wealth of this country. Yeah, and they got richer and richer. The corporations, they get their headquarters to Cayman Islands here and they outsource themselves outside. And then they don't even pay any tax. Therefore, they move the jobs out. They make great money from the United States, from consumers, but they don't even pay tax. The Wall Street, they do all kinds of speculations, make billions of dollars, billions, not millions, oh, yeah. and they don't pay tax. And this Donald Trump himself perhaps paid less tax than you. He got billions for what? Do you think he's really smarter than millions of hardworking people? What did he do? Did he make an invention? Not zilch. Did he really work in construction? Not. Million times work in construction because he made million times more than people working for him. Now, what he did, he find a way to steal money from workers while they are moving deals. Deal means middleman. Mm -hmm. He's a petty little man, made billions of dollars for what? Not really much contribution. The only contribution, he was able to weasel like a weasel, find a loophole there, find a place there, and then steal money. So Without him, the economy still would work well. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, this Bernie promises health care, free health care for everyone. We are human beings in this country. Well, Obama promised free health care too, and it's not free. Well, he didn't. My health care costs me more now. He didn't promise. Than it did there is a major Obama. difference. You are right. There is a major difference between Obama. And my insurance is not near as good as it was. Actually, I have none now because where I lost my job. But even with my job, the Obamacare, 
made my insurance twice as expensive and not near as good there is as a it had been for beautiful, years. Beautiful. There is a proverb that says, um, good is the enemy of the best. I think this health measure kind of semi things is not. But it is better for many people, better. I don't know how it worked for you. Mm -hmm. For some people who did not have any work insurance, work for them better. Of course not perfect. It's a bad system. But compared to the previous one, more than 20 some people got insurance. But compared to other countries, European countries, we call them all, they are socialist star, they spend much less money than us, they have better <coughs> Therefore, it is worth to look at that. And second, education and second there are some things and through this uh, money taxing speculations and uh, taxing corporations because they need to be taxed no, I they could create business like infrastructure is well and you will have plenty work there why you are not looking this guy is not just for politics he's saying for 30 years he's been saying exact same thing he's promoting same thing and he's honest pe person but this Donald Trump, five times he played with loopholes and hack, uh, what is called um, the bankruptcy laws. He's a weasel. Do you think really he will serve you or he will serve billionaires like him? He doesn't live your situation. This guy comes from poverty. No, 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 no. None, of, none of your politics. And really, and I'm, you know, I don't know a whole lot about politics, but I've always thought all of them are crooks. You just got to pick the better of the crooks. No, this guy is not. And I don't think. But, but I'm not was, saying I'm not yeah. saying that what he promised but, will deliver because there is Senate, there is Congress, there are big corporations behind. There's oh. kind of oligarchy in this country. And I, I mean, I do agree that the higher ups they do need to pay more taxes, and they get all their you know all these loopholes, taxes breaks for this and that. But one thing I've always believed is, without your rich, super rich people, that is who employs us, the little people, is. There's got to be the higher, the rich people to pay us. Without without your super rich and your super business, and that's just like it's shown at the house. All your all these people they said were coal barons and they hated them all these years, and now everybody wants them back because. But that's, who, that's like, who paid their what lifestyles. If, what without without saying, the rich, without the people with a lot of money, the people, the middle class and the lower class don't have jobs. What what exactly? This is what what did this is the lie dogmas cooked and fed you since childhood through TV, through media, which is controlled by them. It is possible to have a more just country, distribution of wealth more just, rather than few make so much become rich. Of course, when you have a crooked, rich system, only few become very rich, you will be depending on them like slaves depended on Pharaoh. Without Pharaoh, who would be hungry pharaoh is feeding us exactly the same mentality because they got so rich power and you become dependent to that filthy rich and you are perhaps a christian you think you know jesus said as camel cannot enter the eye of the needle the rich cannot enter but when it comes somehow to the world we don't care about jesus but there's examples in the european countries even now that better distribution of wealth the Gini index means the difference between haves and have nots in this country is one of the worst. Top five. Chile, Mexico, uh, Turkey, United States, and Israel. These are the worst countries that some people work hard, they make little money compared to those who make big money. And by the way, part of our riches comes from our military imposing terms on other countries, mm -hmm. stealing their wealth. Now, the question is, therefore, this I want you to question this dogma that rich people, you depend on that. People can make and own their own work. You can come with people like you and put your money and work and have a factory, factory make money and profit comes to the workers rather than putting one person on top, doesn't do anything except moving little things around and saying, talking and then makes more money than all those working, those who shed sweat. But without, without him making the money, without the one guy at the head, why start the factory? Uh, listen, people, if you're can, not, if you're, if, people can start. If you're not going to make the money, why, would you, why would you start Lovely. something? People, why start a business? People can start, workers can start, engineers can start, and also if one person lead, one person lead, that person, why should get 99% of the 
production. Why? You can give him a little bit more, maybe twice as the worker, still is enough incentive for him to initiate. In fact, we undermine human generosity. For example, Wikipedia, I don't know, one minute left, I wish. Wikipedia, Wikipedia <laughs> is done, is fantastic work. My gosh, millions of pages of information that people put voluntarily there without getting a penny. There is this inhumanity. If we create a culture, a system, where the leaders, entrepreneurs, make twice, three times, let's say 10 times more than the worker, still enough incentive for them to go work because they will have 10 times bigger house. Why have 1,000 times bigger house? Do you understand? We are over-rewarding crooks, over-rewarding those people who maybe a little bit one step ahead of you, you give him too much. And they how control do, how the do you stop how much money he makes? Though? Uh, you, there's a system. You, you through through taxation. Through taxation we can do that. And they are not tax enough. And also solar no, I agree, because I paid a lot of taxes. Absolutely. Um, just on my two we weeks, have one. I would bring home around, in the coal mines, two weeks, I'd bring home around $3,000. Yes. And I would pay probably Fifteen hundred in taxes, over a thousand. I want to continue this. I want to change the card because now it is your turn to defend. I think you understand what I said, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. 